There are moments when I'm juggling and they're my favorite moments when I just get lost in what I'm doing. And when it happens to me on stage, I get to share that moment with my audience. I will juggle in a crowded bar and I know it's working when people go silent and everyone stops and everyone looks because they can't help it. And those are magic, those are magic moments and that's why I do it. With jazz, you know, you're able to interact with the stars of jazz. Somebody like Wynton Marsalis or Branford or Ray Brown, which was my teacher. You could just go up to him and say, hey, it's a community. And that community is what really uh, drew me to jazz music. There's those times where you'll get too inside and those jazz masters will be sitting in the audience. Those jazz legends will come out and like, hey man, connect. You have to see and partly in watching this movie, you're seeing how people can resist it. The community, a sawmill, a store, carpenter, and the owner. And now, just mostly Japan, the whole country, just the money. <laughs> just a sale, sale. <laughs> That's not any kind of wood. If I would not be back here, how many African American restaurants you see? None. And if I had not stayed here all the time I did, the community would have gone down to nothing, to nothing. You stay in a community and you build it and you make it work. I have to do what I have to do. I had to go to that park this morning and cook these 20 gallons of gumbo before I go and serve it out there. And that's the fun thing about today. Look how many people you made happy just with a little cup of gumbo.